Hi, welcome to Denman's Den. Today, I'm doing something very exciting for me. In this box, I have one of the Paul Reed Smith Experience 2020 Modern Eagle 5 Limited Editions. And I'm gonna take this razor blade and I'm gonna cut this box open and reveal to you what it is that I experience opening this most desired guitar. I've wanted one of these since PRS introduced the private stock Modern Eagles last year. Can't afford a private stock. Always figured that, eh, maybe used in 10 years. And then they came out with the experience version. And I was very, very, very excited to grab one before they got sold out. Now, I'm not 100% sure if they're all sold out now, um, but I was on the PRS form and one of the dealers mentioned that his stock sold out like that. I knew I had to get one. So I did whatever I could to get this guitar. So, I'll be back with you in a second to open the box. Yay, no peanuts. I hate peanuts. Time for the reveal. What am I going to see when I open this case? Maybe Katie can walk over here and kind of zoom up a little bit. And here it comes. Here it comes. Wow. Okay, let's get the bubble wrap off the top. Sweet. Okay, so what I'm looking at what I'm looking at here, and I'm kind of stunned. I, I will admit this is not my first PRS, as you guys who have watched some of my videos on the channel know. I've got some of these. But this is my first time ever getting one that's like in a black, because usually black is not my thing. But I'm looking at this, and the top almost looks fake. And I'm not saying this in a bad way at all. Like, the figuring is so deep, the way that the stain is done. The gloss is so good on it that it looks, I don't know, like it's drawn on with a marker. Does that make any sense? Dig it. Now I've had Honduran rosewood before on my Paul's guitars and it's always a very pretty wood, but this is so chocolatey. Look at that, and the old school birds look absolutely fantastic. There's the truss rod cover. The small inlaid bird, but absolutely gorgeous. Let me come down here and zoom up on the body a little bit. Maybe you can see what I'm talking about, about how the, the figuring looks fake. I mean, look at that. 
I mean, like I said, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. But look at that. All right, on the heel here, we're getting a little bit of look of the, the flamed mahogany on the neck. Let me flip this thing over and we can take a look at the back. The back of the guitar is absolutely beautiful. It's even got this neat little knot right there. But look at this. Look at the figuring on the neck. How is that for some figured mahogany? Look at that. That's nicer than some flame maple necks I've seen. Absolutely stunning. Now let's take a look at what these things come with. Okay, ME5's got my name on it. This is probably my sales receipt. Because I know they didn't make it for me at the factory. So let's see what's in here. Guitar picks, paraphernalia, sales receipt. Okay, so that's from the store. Cool. Then, let's see, what do we got here? 35th anniversary stuff. Hang tag. Experience 2020 LTD. My serial number. It's got a pattern neck, who assembled it. It's a 10 top and a signature of the final person. The date it was built. What, just about a month ago. Pretty sweet. Then, let's see, the regular stuff here. Tools. Don't tell me, did this come without the whammy bar? Dude! It came without the bar. Hang on, let's see here. Oh. Oh. No bar. Dude, if I bought it from Guitar Center, I would expect that. Oh no. Oh well. Wouldn't it won't be hard to get it. I'm just surprised. But in all truthfulness, it's not that big of a deal because I don't really use the bar that much anyway. But you would just think that it would uh, come with the bar. So, there it is. Unboxing the 2020 Modern Eagle 5 Experience limited edition. Stick around. I'm going to be filming a video where I go in depth with this thing. Not just with the clean sounds, but how it sounds with various levels of gain and dirt. Um, I love PRS's video because you can really hear the difference of the pickup selections. But in all truthfulness, I am dying to give this middle single coil a run for its money. Um, it's got pretty good size pole pieces like a Seymour Duncan quarter pounder has. I'm expecting it's going to sound a little bit fatter than I was initially thinking. So I'll be working on that video over the course of probably a couple of weeks if I'm being realistic. And uh, hopefully you enjoy. I'll see you soon.